Install the adapter sleeve on the shaft. Widen the adapter sleeve by placing a tool in the notch and push onto the shaft. Apply a high viscosity mineral oil lightly on the outside diameter and the thread of the adapter sleeve. Apply a high viscosity mineral oil lightly on the thread and the side face of the bearing side of the lock nut. Slide the bearing onto the shaft ensuring the K mark on the bearing inner ring is facing inward. Slowly rotate the bearing to stabilize the rollers. Check the initial radial internal clearance with a feeler gauge. Insert the feeler gauge to a depth equivalent to the length of a roller. Measure the initial radial clearance at the bottom of the bearing. Hold the bearing and measure the initial radial clearance at three points and take the average. After measuring the initial radial internal clearance, calculate the reduction of the radial internal clearance to get the proper residual clearance and calculate the rotational angle of the lock nut to obtain the amount of the reduction of the internal radial clearance. Install a lock washer such that the tab fits in the slot in the adapter sleeve and the washer sits flat against bearing side face. Install the lock nut and tighten lightly by hand. In order to confirm the lock nut rotation angle, Mark the rotation start position on the lock nut side face. Using a measuring instrument, such as a protractor, mark the rotation end position on the side face of the adapter sleeve. Using a hook spanner, rotate the lock nut so the starting and ending marks align. Confirm that the starting mark and the ending mark positions are aligned. Rotate the bearing to stabilize rollers. While holding the bearing, measure the internal clearance at the bottom of the bearing and confirm that it is not less than the minimum residual internal clearance. Confirm that a notch in the lock nut aligns with the tab on the lock washer. If not, fasten the lock nut just enough for proper alignment. To secure the lock nut, bend the aligned lock washer tab into the lock nut notch with a hammer and punch or equivalent tools.